Hey guys, how's everybody doing out there? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Today we're going to be talking about cost of living. That's going to be the main focus of uh, today's episode. And um, why cost of living? Well, as you guys already know, I make tons of episodes literally talking about the cost of living out here, cost of living abroad and all that stuff. Um, but I feel like um, I need to one, make one specific to this subject because um, there's a lot of people out there constantly that are constantly like uh, sending me messages with uh, kind of like the same basic question. How much do I need to live out here comfortably? Or like something of uh, something along the likes of like, I only have 1,500 US dollars per month. Will that be enough? Or something along the lines of that. Excuse me. And so literally, this is what this episode is going to be about. We're just going to be talking about that. Now, we've already talked about before out here, many times before, as to what the average uh, cost of living is out here for for a typical for a typical uh, resident of Merida or a typical resident of Mexico. And um, you know, we could talk about this stuff. All right, hold on a second. Let me. It's a lot of traffic. So we can talk about this stuff, you know, again, which we will, as to what an average person out here makes. And that comes around, around a thousand dollars, give or take. Buenos dias, buenos dias. And, and so, um, it all depends, you know? So, for example, like a typical worker, you know, a typical worker that you see everywhere. Hey, hey. Oh, hi, how's it going? Good, and you? Yeah, bien, 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 muy bueno. Where are you coming yeah. from? De los Estados Unidos, pero soy cubano de Miami, so. Ah, okay. ¿Y tú de dónde vienes? Baja California. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. Yo, tu, yo, bueno, yo estaba en Los Ángeles por mucho tiempo. Sí. Ya, 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 ya. Bien bonito ahí arriba. Mucho gusto. Nice All right, nice to meet you, man. Again, the people are super crazy friendly out here, man. It's fucking awesome out here. But back to the cost of living, as to what we were talking about when it comes to cost of living. Again, you know, just the average people that you're gonna see around here, you know, working at shops working a regular job working pretty much li literally any job any any normal regular job and um by the way I've, I've been doing a lot more research on this and constantly um trying to figure this out so literally <laughs> um so sorry traffic <laughs> so literally what now what a typical person makes out here is like give or take like around five six hundred us dollars and then when it comes to you know, then when it comes to um, to like a professional, like someone that's like a doctor, someone that's like an actual professional, professional, you know, like a like a lawyer, like a bureaucrat, you know, shit like that, they make like around a thousand bucks a month, you know, maybe a thousand two hundred, maybe a thousand five hundred. So that's that's literally what people make out here. So when an American tells me hey will one thousand dollars be enough I'm like yeah it'll be enough now i don't know if it's going to be enough for you everyone out there has um a lot of needs we've talked about this many times before coming from a first world country you got a lot of fucking needs you got a lot of needs so since you have a lot of needs then you know things are probably going to be more expensive when you live out here and you realize how everybody lives out here and again this goes for anywhere you are living abroad you will notice right off the bat that people do not have the same needs that you have. People do not waste money on stupid fr fr frivolous shit all the fucking time. You know, people people are a lot more humble, you know, with a lot of their things and uh it's um it's just a different way of life. It's literally a different way of life. And um you know, I just uh yeah, sorry. I was just thinking about something real quick. I was like I realized that I wonder if that guy approached me because I saw my Litecoin uh, thing behind me. Anyways. So back to what I was talking about. So if you kind of live pretty humbly, if you live pretty, pretty humbly, you'll be fine. Like for example, guys, I I've told you guys a million times over, I don't make a thousand dollars a month, you know? I make, if I'm lucky, right now, if I'm lucky, I'll be making like around 800, maybe 600 bucks a month 
And that's barely enough. But back in the US, it was not enough. Period, end of story. Um, and it was funny because uh, when I was with my girl yesterday, or the day before actually, you know, we were just, um, you know, just talking about the U.S. and uh, the cost and what it, you know what you know what it is to like live a life out there, and how you need two jobs and what the what things cost and what you make and things like that. And she was, her jaw was so was so far down on the floor that it was pretty crazy. Like she could not believe she had no fucking. I mean, she just could not believe that it was that insane to live in the U.S. And all of a sudden, sure, you know, things aren't the greatest you know for her here just like um you know a lot of people that live out here per se you know just like in the u.s or other places it's not the greatest thing ever but um it's only the economic thing it's really it they love you know people love it but you know the, the economy just like back home i love home but you know the economy doesn't make me love it so much and that goes that goes pretty much for everybody out here and out there and everywhere else but um yeah when i explained to her i was in the u.s she's like damn Okay, so maybe it's not so bad out here, you know. Sure, I don't, I don't make anything in comparison to, to an American. You know, meaning that, you know, she makes like what a McDonald's worker makes in a week or two weeks. You know, most people, most people again, you know, um, you work a whole month and you're making half of McDonald's wages out here. Is what I'm saying. But things cost so much cheaper, and it's all about our quality of life. And again, we've talked about this many, 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 many times over. It's all about quality of life. So, to a lot of people, like me per se, when it comes to like talking about quality of life, when it comes about when it come, when we're talking about freedom and liberty and, and all that stuff, listen, that's why, that's literally why I, I, I moved out here and I live out here and this is why I, I enjoy my life so much because I'm, I, there's no there's no price on that stuff. And again, right now, there's a humongous price on having freedom and liberty and all this shit. And most people cannot afford. Most people cannot afford real freedom and liberty within the U.S. or anywhere else. So, you know, the main reason I come out here is because pretty much freedom and liberty and all that stuff is free. And, um, and that enhances the quality of life. And then it enhances everything else. Now, again, everyone's a little different. So let's just go back to like the beginning of what I was just saying at the beginning of the episode where a lot of people ask me is like, how much do you need to live out here? How much, you know, will, will $1,000, will $1,200 make, will that be enough? And so on and so forth. And I, tell, I always tell everybody, yes, but it all depends on a few conditions. And the conditions are you. It has nothing to do with me. So, again, are you willing... Are you willing to not have? Are you are you willing to not have all the comforts that you had back in the U.S. Again, you can have every single comfort that you have in the U.S. out here, but it's probably going to cost you money. What do I mean by that? So, I live in a tropical environment, meaning most people want to have their AC on all the fucking time. Well, as you guys already know, I don't. I have my AC on literally at night when I'm going to go to sleep. And uh, that's about it. I use fans. I use the fact that I'm living out here without pollution and I get to uh, you know, have fresh air. I know I say the pollution thing as I'm walking down this fucking street. But you guys understand what I mean. There's a lot of really, um, a lot of fresh air always blowing all around. So a lot of people, a lot of people just, um, you know, keep their doors open windows open and that's what they they use you know again plenty of people don't even have ac but again if you want to have your ac on 24 hours a day so you're not you know hot and uncomfortable well then your, your bill is going to probably be a lot higher than your actual rent um when it comes to food again it all depends on what you want to eat where you want to eat and so on you know there's plenty of places out here that you're going to be spending exactly what you fucking spend in the u.s you know, there's plenty of places like Chili's and places, you know, Mexican versions of Chili's and, um, and fast food places that are going to be costing you the same amount. Uh, if you eat um, frugally, meaning that if you decide to cook for yourself, if you decide to eat from uh, 
certain hot dog carts. I mean, I mean certain certain taco trucks and all that good stuff. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. So again, I, I, you can look at me as an example. I live out here on eight hundred dollars a month. Literally, that's pretty much it. Anytime that I have anything extra, I buy myself some glasses, shoes, you know, things that I need. But literally, what I what I do is uh, like I'm, I make it with around eight hundred bucks a month. And um, you know, some since I'm an entrepreneur and I work for myself, and I got clients and all that shit. Look at this beautiful car. I love it. I love these cars. So, since I'm you know I'm a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur and all that stuff. I gotta you know. Um, be, you know, I, I, I gotta be uh, stay. Uh, I gotta keep count of the money I make and how much I, I, uh, I spend and all that stuff throughout a month. So, for example, you know, some months I make a lot of money, and uh, what I do is I end up saving a good majority of that money once I pay my bills for the next month because I don't know if the next month I'm gonna have a lot of customers or not. So, for example, April. I, I, last month I got a lot of customers. This month I haven't had that many customers. So literally right now I'm on a shoestring budget because I'm just using the extra money I had from last month to pay the bills of this month. And that's just my own personal thing. But if all of a sudden you have like, uh, let's say a thousand, a thousand two hundred, a thousand five hundred coming in every month through a pension, through a retirement, through things like that, you're good to go guys. You're good to go. Because again, um, I'm very frugal. I'm very, um, I, I try, I try to, I, again, I live a very humble, simplistic, minimalistic life. Um, I wasn't always like this, but as, uh, as the years have gone on, um, I've done more of that. And uh, in turn, that's what it has allowed me to do so much more traveling and, and do all the cool stuff that I have. You know, just the fact that I've decided to become, you know, more minimalistic and, um, and live this kind of like nomad lifestyle but again it's not for everybody but the less stuff that you have the less you know the the cheaper things are just going to be period end the story i know it sounds kind of crazy but it's like if you already live a life where you're not buying everything you see you're not spending your money everywhere you go and you start getting accustomed to that and build those habits and things are going to be fine so when i'm speaking to my older generation out there um, the ones that are on a retirement or a pension, listen guys, you guys are going to be totally fine. Just learn a little bit of Spanish and you'll be fucking hunky-dory out here. And um, again, it all really comes down to cutting down cost. And uh, a, a lot of people that are choosing to fucking move out here are literally, you know, stressing over the, the cost situation back home right now. Where what's really happening in the U.S. is that, you know, what you have isn't enough. A lot of you guys, you know, your pension and your retirement isn't enough, so you gotta go out there and you gotta get a job, and it's still not enough. And you gotta cut your pills, you gotta cut your medication, you gotta do so many things in order to just make it by. Where if you come out here, things are not gonna get that much more expensive. First of all, if you come out here, you'll have enough with what you have, and then on top of that, you're not gonna see the crazy hyperinflation that you're seeing everywhere else right now. And again, it, especially in the main things that you need, like medicine, food, and water. You know, those are the basic necessities. You know, rent. You know, you're not going to see any skyrocketing prices in those things. But as you, if you're living in the U.S., you live in Canada, you live in Europe. These things are only getting more and more expensive as the days go on. And it's just a fucking simple, you know, fact. Matter of fact, it's not. Are you going to go or not, man? Look at that. You, you look at the how they wait. Bad driver. You're, you're a horrible driver, bro. Horrible, 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 horrible driver. Fuck, man. Horrible driver. See, that's just a horrible driver, you know? What I had to fucking show them. You know, I put them on blast. Anyways, back to what I was saying. If you're... Now, now, if you're like in my generation, if you're like my age, I'm 37, or you're younger... And you don't, and you don't live a nomadic, a minimalistic life, then things are probably going to be a little harder for you, because I've had friends come visit me out here from the U.S., and they can't hack it. They cannot fucking hack it after just being a day or two out here, because it's like they need all their 
American comforts. They need other first world country comforts and whatever they may be, you know? And uh, sure, you can get them out here, but then they start complaining about, oh, why is everything, I thought there things were cheaper out here. Yeah, things are cheaper out here, but if you all you want is your fucking iPhone and fucking Starbucks every day, it's gonna be the same fucking price no matter where you go, <laughs> you know? Yeah, sorry, the camera overheated again, the usual, the huge. So again, just getting back to what I was just talking about. You can make it out here. Anyone can fucking live out here. And it's not as expensive as you think. And you really don't need that much money. The thing is that, you know, we are so used to having um, a certain amount of income that we need to have per month because certain bills and all, I mean, not certain bills, all bills are so expensive. Everything is so crazy expensive that we lose, you know, track of how exactly, you know, things work. You know, meaning that, you know, we, we just can't, you know, kind of comprehend or wrap our heads around, you know, the fact that you don't need that much money to live, to enjoy life, to, to, to do the things that you need to do and all that shit. So it's, um, it's definitely, you know, it's just, it's just adjustment, you know, for some people, it's not much of an adjustment, you know, again, if you're coming from the U S right now, where you can barely afford anything, you're barely surviving, you come out here and you're like, you're, you're fucking living like a king. Now, if you're already kind of living like a king in the U.S. and you come out here and you kind of want to live the same way, you know, you, you, your dollar might not be stretched out as much. You know, it's as simple as that. Like, it's like it all depends on whether. Hey, guys, and welcome back. I'm sorry about that. Um, as uh, I was finishing up the episode and getting home, the thing just overheated and turned off as usual. So I'm already here home cameras kind of cooled off so i just want to finish off what i was saying at the end of the day if you have a thousand dollars a thousand two hundred a thousand five hundred something along those lines and it's a, a regular income you get every month you'll be more than fine again my monthly budget is around 800 bucks a month and yeah sure i'm kind of like uh um living poorly you know what i mean i'm scrounging pennies here and there and all that good stuff but it's, it's plenty of money, you know what I mean? And um, I love it when I make a few extra bucks because I get to do a few extra things. And again, I have full control of that because I'm my own business owner. But just to reemphasize the fact that as long as you have anything over a thousand bucks and you live very frugally, you'll be fine. If you have a lot of expenses and spend a lot of money, um, then you might not be so fine out here. You might not, you might have to bring in a lot more money than just a thousand or a thousand five hundred bucks a month. But for the average person out there, and especially if you're already living very poorly and humbly and uh, cutting costs left and right back home in the US, Canada, or Europe, and they're not making it, then this is the place for you because it'll be very easy to just uh, um, get accustomed to that. It'll be very easy to just um, um, continue living the certain way. And in fact, after living out here for a little while, you'll notice that you'll be able to start affording these luxuries which are just regular things that you weren't able to afford before when you were back in the first world country and now we're here now you can afford them again that's why you see me sometimes i go out to a restaurant i'll go out to a nice uh um you know a symphony for free or i'll be able to go to a museum for free or for a dollar and all these other things and get to really enjoy life and um and again it's all about that quality of life so guys you guys can make it out here you guys definitely can survive out here and it's all really has to do more about with what you know it all has to do with you more than anything else all right so i really hope that this episode was uh helpful if you guys have more questions or want more um knowledge on the cost of living and how things how things are out here please feel free to check out the rest of my channel check out the other um mexico videos talking about cost of living talking about specific items talking about specific things out here in mexico and um i certainly hope that i certainly hope so that now this video and other videos will help you make that decision final to move abroad become an expat and leave the u.s canada europe wherever the hell you are and again guys i've talked about this many many times before sure this is paradise for me and i love it but it might not be paradise for you and but paradise for you might be eastern europe it might be in so southern asia it might be you know there's a lot of places out there out here in the world in which you can live just like i live here or cheaper or what have you all right so please keep exploring all right don't just um close yourself off to living in mexico or what have you you know you might have a dream place that you might want to live and you might actually be able to afford okay so again if you want to go to eastern europe and live in the snow 
you can live for like again around the same budget or cheaper you want to live in southern asia you know with like in the philippines or you know singapore or you know any one of those places you can do that as well if you want to live um out here in mexico or latin america you can also do that i'm telling you it's all up to you and whether or not you're willing to put in that work to get to that final destination all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And um, like, um, as I was saying earlier, before I got cut off by this freaking thing, you know, my episodes right now, you know, they're starting to get a little bit more centered because of the topics I'm talking about again, you know, which is the politics and, you know, um, all these sensitive topics that have nothing to do with Mexico, you know, whether it's cryptocurrency, whether it's um, whatever it is. So um please you know share these videos um share this knowledge share you know my channel and my information and help spread the word on all this stuff because we all need to help each other by educating each other okay and uh we can do it so again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here i love you guys to death and i'll see you guys manana